healthcare, transportation, jobs, and francophone issues. I vote for the party that uh, has, uh, they have the First Nations uh, in their plans. It's cost of living and it's uh, access to services. The riding uh, it covers 30% of the land area of the province. Uh, and in that 30% of the land area, 300,000 square kilometers, are just over 30,000 people. Fully appreciating our natural resources. And I think it's very important to, to, uh, to, to recognize that we need to better conserve what we have naturally in our backyards. There's a lot of health issues also that uh, needs to be addressed. Things are not being addressed. The real issues, the underlying things that need to be addressed. What are those? And like the suicide epidemic. In our communities, the health services are very lacking. They're inadequate. Mm. And if we send our young people to sulk out, then they're ready to get those services. That's the disconnection. They're disconnected from their home, they're disconnected from their land, they're disconnected from people. The loneliness sets in. Mm. The action I'm talking about is why can't they build infrastructure in our, in our communities where we can have a healing lodge, mm. where we can have take ownership of our responsibility and have our healing centers. Mostly uh, what Fort Sarah is concerned about is the federal, the federal um, elections, the Prime Minister, what their promises are for, for, uh, for the Aboriginal communities. Mm. But for Bencho, it kind of tends to fall on the sidelines here. I think uh, touching the lives of uh, First Nations that uh, have probably never voted before, um, getting them to the stations and being able to, to vote probably for the first time. That's what I'm hoping to do is uh, to bring the people together and to help them realize that uh, you don't just live in Canada. Uh, Ontario is a big part of uh, what you should be uh, voicing your concerns to. The focus now is, is long term, you know, that's 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 what I want to go for. I want to plan long term, some long term stability things. You know what I mean? If it's good today, I want it to be good tomorrow as well, you know. And uh, I want to get out of that, uh, be operating a, on a reactive mode, you know. Mm. Uh, whereas, you know, like, okay, uh, this is going on today. I need a fix. Boom, there's an answer. But it doesn't really uh, answer anything long term. So that's where I'm set at. And it's, it's a little difficult to plan long term when everything is proposal proposal driven you you can you cannot make a plan like that you know and uh, and uh, oh, what the only way only solution i see for that is economic development with either within the community or outside the community in an urban setting we protect our values and then, and our values are you know if you're francophone England, anglophone first nations i think we should we 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 we're treated equally and uh, we need to fight for that because that's something that is we should be proud of as being Ontarians. <laughs>